What's up guys, Pastor Jason here, and uh, we're ready to get another devotional started here with you guys. And uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about something a little bit different. Um, you know, I teach high school Army ROTC, so military history, that's a big thing to me. And um, I had this idea about, you know, one of the battles from World War II. It was um, the Battle of Iwo Jima, and basically the, the, the United States Marines and how they took over Iwo Jima, which was a very key... Uh, battle for us to win, you know, during that time frame. So it's real interesting. And many of you guys probably didn't know um, about the Navajo Code Talkers, but um, basically what happened was is you know the United States Army and the Marines, you know, we would communicate via, you know via our radio uh, communications, and the Japanese were very good. Their cryptologists were very good at cracking all of our code. So basically, you know, we were trying to tell you know communications on what our strategy was and what we were gonna do. And the Japanese, you know, they would intercept that and they would kind of mess up our plans, right? Because they knew what we were doing. They knew we were coming. So, you know, we had to get smart and figure out how we were gonna beat the Japanese on our communications game. So what we did is we ended up getting the Navajo Indian tribe and using the Navajo language to communicate on those radios. And it just totally messed up the Japanese because they weren't able to pick up on what we were transmitting so you know there's a lot of power in words all right and that's what we're going to talk about um just a lot of power in words guys um you know the the battle of iwo jima would not have been won if it wasn't for the navajo code talkers so i want to talk to you about what the bible says about words okay in the bible it says Bear with me, I'm trying to find the scripture. Okay, it says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. That's found in Matthew 4.4. 4. It also says, The words that I speak unto you, and this is Jesus talking, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And that is found in John 6.63. So again, I'm going to read that one more time. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Think about that. And it also says, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So think about that. They are life. The Bible says that the, the words coming from the scripture and that Jesus has spoken to us through the word of God is life. All right. In the Bible, every word has purpose and meaning. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone. Okay. That's, that's just saying, you know, eating, right? Eating. That's not going to keep us alive, all right? But we also need to be in the Word of God. That's going to keep us alive. And that, you know, you think about it, right? Those words, you know, if the Marines would have lost the Battle of Iwo Jima, you know, because because we didn't have the right words to communicate, it would have been very difficult for the American military to win um, Iwo Jima, all right? Now, the purpose of winning Iwo Jima was that Iwo Jima was going to be a, a staging base for us to attack the main Japanese land. Um, you know, they were using it as an area to stage bombers and things like that so we could go fight the Japanese on the mainland. Um, so it was a very important battle for us to win. Um, but think about this, right? My question for you today is this, guys. What battles are you fighting? All right, if you're fighting battles today, you need to actively seek the Word of God out and understand the importance of it. All right, start speaking victory into your life, right? You need to do that. By understanding these words, right? Getting into the Word of God. And read it daily. You need to be reading it daily. Okay, remember there is power in the name of Jesus. And there is power um, in the scripture, in the words that you read. Alright, and when you're putting that into your mind. Um, and those words, not only will they help win you know, physical battles, the words will also help win spiritual battles. So if you're struggling with a spiritual battle, you need to get into the Word of God. Right, and, and, and speak those words of life into you. All right. Last thing I want to tell you is you need to understand the power of the Holy Spirit. All right. Allow the Holy Spirit to intercede on your behalf. Right. 
Uh, you guys hear people speak in tongues, right? You know, I've spoken in tongues. If you have never spoken in tongues, you need to start asking God to give you that gift, right? Start giving you, start asking God to give you the gift of the Holy Spirit so he can intercede on your behalf, right? Um, allow the Holy Spirit to intercede when the devil is trying to defeat you guys, because he is, right? The Bible says that too. He's, he's a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He's coming after you. He's trying to get after you. So you need to you need to use the Holy Spirit and allow the Holy Spirit to help you fight those battles, right? It's important, guys. All right, so words are powerful. All right, you need to establish the lines of communication with you and God. Think about that, guys. You need to establish those lines of communication. All right, and you can use the tools that we talked about. Use the Word of God, the, the, the Bible, and also use the Holy Spirit. All right, and as always, guys, I want you guys to have a blessed week. And we will see you Wednesday. We're praying for you guys. Hope you're doing good. And um, I hope these devotionals speak to you. And I'm excited to see where they go from here. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in.